Hello, and welcome to Life Should Be Delicious. I'm Peyton, and this is my kitchen in Baltimore. This week, we're gonna do chicken stuffed with goat cheese, spinach, roasted red and yellow peppers. Enough said, let's get started. Go ahead and turn your oven to 425. So what you're gonna need is uh, two chicken breasts, kind of the thicker the better. A jar of roasted red peppers and yellow peppers. If you can only get red, that's fine. Some goat cheese, anything that's sharp um, will work for this. I like uh, like a sharper live goat cheese and a bag of spinach. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and take out about half a bag of spinach and we're gonna chop it up a little bit. This is gonna make it a lot easier to eat and it's gonna make it a lot easier to fit in the chicken. Next, go ahead and chop up about half a jar of the peppers and put them in your bowl. Also, chop up your goat cheese. It's gonna make it a lot easier to mix it together. Then you're gonna go in and just mix, mix, mix it all together. Once you get it mixed up really good, go ahead and throw a good pinch of salt in there and work that in there too. And then put it in your fridge. All right, go ahead and get your chicken breasts. And what you're gonna do is lay them flat on the cutting board and then slide a paring knife in. Now just take your time, this is not that difficult, but just take your time and make sure you don't puncture the chicken. Um, as you kind of work it, the knife in, you can kind of go wider and it'll open up the chicken. Once you've done that to both chicken breasts, go ahead and get your stuffing and pack it in to the chickens. Again, make sure you don't puncture it. Um, we don't want a bunch hanging out because all it's gonna do is burn the pan. All right, so real quick, I wanna talk about pans. I do this with a pan that I can put in the oven. You might not have a pan at your house that you can do that with. So you might have to do it in a pan and then transfer it to a sheet pan. But if you have a pan that looks like one of these and has a metal handle, there's a pretty good chance that you can put it in the oven. So once we get the chicken breast stuffed, go ahead and put a little bit of oil into a cast iron skillet or a pan that can go into the oven and heat it up. You need to get it hot. Now, not that it's smoking, but where you see the oil shimmering. If you don't, you're never gonna get a sear on that chicken. All right, once you get the oil heated up, go ahead and lay the chicken in the pan away from you. Once you set it down, kind of move it a little bit to get the oil underneath of the chicken, and then do not touch it for four minutes. Just leave it. Now with your oven at 425 degrees, we're gonna flip the chicken in the pan and then go ahead and throw it into the oven. It's probably gonna take about 20 minutes. Um, I would check it every five, 10 minutes just to be safe. Uh, this is definitely the place where you wanna use a temperature probe if you have one. I would look for about 165 degrees all the way through it. Once you're done with cooking it, go ahead and let it sit in the pan for about three, four minutes so that it can cool down inside and all the juices um, don't just go flying out when you cut it. And that way it'll be nice and crispy and delicious. Well, I hope you liked this week's episode of Life Should Be Delicious and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.